Ethan University Athletic Department would like to welcome you to campus. Without further delay, I'd like to introduce our Director of Athletics, Chris Williams. Thank you, Mike. It is exciting and we, we do welcome you to the campus of Southern Wesleyan University. Thank you for taking the time to be here and for your continued support of Warrior Athletics at Southern Wesleyan University. Southern Wesleyan and our community is excited about the momentum that has occurred here over the last year and a half. Our intercollegiate athletics department is gaining momentum by working to develop a first class experience for our student athletes, our coaches, and our entire Warrior community. Currently, Southern Wesleyan offers 11 varsity sports, including the newest sport of women's golf, which was added this past fall. This coming fall in 2013, we'll add four new sport teams, give us a total of 15. We will be adding men's and women's tennis, as well as men's and women's track and field. The new year has also brought more momentum, as Conference Carolinas has recently announced that they'll be offering Southern Wesleyan conference sponsorship. The sponsorship is the next step in our journey to make formal applications to the NCAA Division II on February 1st, 2013. As we continue to push forward, our warrior name has been a driving force for our campus. Our mascot has continually changed over the years and we are excited to unveil the new direction of the warrior mascot. This will spearhead our momentum forward as the athletic department, as a university, and as Team Swoop. So at this time, I'm proud to unveil the new warrior with this video. Joy and the alumni group 
as well as a, an internal group that looked at uh, our past, looked at the survey, uh, we took that information from our students, and really wanted everybody to feel like they were part of the process. Then finally brought it back in-house, and Cody and his team uh, were able then to piece this all together for the final product. The process is this. The logo process? The logo process has probably been just over a year now, um, and we are thankful that today is the day that we're able to unveil it. <laughs> Should there be uniform and field changes and things as well? As a there will be. Logo will be a there will be. In fact, this is, this is the first step. Uh, this, will, this information will also go into our NC application, which we will be sending on Monday. And so this this really kicks off the first part of the marketing and branding initiative that we need to do for the NCA. Why does it have to change that? Again, back to the NCA and the, and the transition there, we had to get away from the Native American symbolism. And so as we, as we started to make that uh, transition, we really wanted, again, to capture some of our past, but we wanted to take um, really some of the new thoughts of campus and push it forward, and that's the helmet, and in particular the cross, really came out of our survey information. Chris, as we talked about uh, the trans transformation of Division Two, how is the process going? The process currently, we, like I said, about ready to make application. Uh, we gained conference sponsorship in December from Conference Carolinas. That was a huge hurdle. Um, the Board of Trustees, a year ago, voted unanimously for us to make this move, and we continue uh, to pray and work hard uh, that in July, then the NCAA will, will grant us uh, and give us the thumbs up. Is that is that font unique to Southern Wesleyan, though? This is now the new warrior typeface. Okay. Uh, again, attaches it to the helmet uh, with the points as well connecting us to our past. But yes, unique to Southern West. How many years did you have here? Started in 1970. Chris, is this copyrighted or will others be able to um, print this and, and market this in addition to the community? It is not trademarked as of yet, but we are going to work towards that end. And your plan is this is going to be exclusively used by athletics, that it's not a university Correct. new piece, it's just an athletic piece. So Correct. apparel and everything else will be always tied into the athletic program. Correct. You will be able to buy this new logo in the bookstore probably starting this July and August uh, with all the new paraphernalia that you were suggesting as far as uniforms and polo shirts and hats. You will be able to buy that online and in the bookstore. I would say this is probably the first official logo change uh, since the beginning. Is that fair to say? That's right. <laughs> Good answer. I believe that we'll make 13. Uh, they will also add another institution and give them the 14. They are really concerned about uh, continuing to expand their borders make their borders strong, just like in any college athletic league at the moment, uh, the landscape is changing quickly, and so they, they need to uh, continue to be aggressive in the future. Chris, in an ideal world, we make application on the first. The NCAA will come and do a site visit in the spring, after their site visit, then they'll review all of our documentation as well as the site visit, uh, pull it all together, and make a final decision in mid-July. If they give us a thumbs up in July, then we spend one more year in the NAI as we're stepping toward the NCA. So next year will be the last year we speak the NAIs. As you expand your programs, where 
for track and field and then tennis, where will your facilities be located or where are you going to uh, relocate uh, existing facilities? So we're in the midst of master planning and with the addition of new sports, we are again have been approved by the Board of Trustees to build a track right out front. So as you came in by the main sign this morning, that would be the location of the new track and field complex. Uh, we're hoping to start moving dirt here in the next few weeks to a month and be able to have that complex done in the spring. Um, we'll also be adding other sports uh, in the near future, so we're developing that land that we're calling the front porch of the university. And as you come in, that'll pull you in and then be able to connect you with other parts of campus, whether it be the academic side, the fine arts side, uh, or spiritual life side. Again, I appreciate you all being here today. I just want to end with this. It's our mission to be a Christ-centered, student-focused learning community devoted to transforming lives by challenging students to be dedicated scholars, servant leaders who impact the world for Christ. Thanks for attending. Go Warriors.